You don't see this every day, a Gen 1 Coyote and a Superbird. Nope. <laughs> what train is behind it? The 6R80. Oh, there you go. Got 24 miles again. I was going to say it's got to drive really nice. So. It, it's, I had a wheel bearing issue on the way up, but I had a tire on the way up. Other than that. Huh. Yeah. I'm going to send this to my buddy Matt. Yeah. Yep. He's a Coyote fanboy. Yeah. Using the stock harness? It's uh, about half of the stock harness and the power by the hour. Oh, okay. The hour program and, and their whole harness. Gotcha. And then I had to add some extra fans the other day and I figured, you know, I'm not buttoning it up again. That's why everything's visible, so it's usable. Gotcha. I'm on the side of the road and something happens. I don't want to be messing around with well, at what least it looks like. Suck it up. Don't try to. I'm guessing you made your old motor mount. What K member are you using? It's, it's all the stock Chrysler steering K member. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, I was able to make it work and, and uh, didn't have to tear anything up. The Ford, that, Ford that's... I had to modify to make the transmission fit. Yeah. So you got to do that with a heavy. Exactly, yeah. The, uh, that's unique right here. You don't. <laughs> this is something you always like seeing. At least you ain't like the LS crew when they come. Blast me, you can't put anything in the Sherry Butter LS. That would be easy. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's a ton of room. Exactly. If you're trying to put this in here and you realize there's an eighth of an inch yeah. between. Yep. I'm putting one in my 69 Mustang yeah. and you gotta cut the shock towers. That's tight too. Though. Yeah. You, you, you gotta shave the shock towers. Here, at least Cuda's or B buys, E buys, bigger engine base space, so you don't really need to do all that. And he said you ain't have to do nothing to the cable. Nope. K framers all stock. Damn. Nice. And this how you got it? Just rusted to hell like this. That wasn't rusty, it was crashed. Oh really? Somebody drove through one side of it. Damn. Yeah, it actually has all of its original floors in it. Oh really? <laughs> that was the only thing that's original to it. it basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yeah. What made you go with this instead of a uh, Hemi? Because anybody could put a Hemi in on a weekend at this point. Yeah, that's true. That it's is true. It's easy. Yeah, that's true. And it's a road runner. Coyote. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> it does make sense. It used to be different. Yeah. Uh, Ain't nothing wrong with that. This is actually nice and unique. I like it. Kid's going to inherit it. So yep. Who cares what it's worth? Yeah. You know, I can turn key ready and go where the hell I want. Like I said, 1,100 miles to get here. Oh, where you come from? From South Florida. Damn. And you said AC was pumping, AC no was issue. Yep, 24 miles down with AC, 28 without AC. Damn, you can't beat that. No, <laughs> no, not a little bit. How did it sound? What's that? How did it sound, good? Just like a coyote, it's got caps on it, it's got a full melt through it. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's got the six feet automatic in it, so. That is nice, yo. 420 horse for 360 for a 5.7 inch. And I don't need 700. Yeah. Can't use it. When I race SCCA, it's like, what do you do with it? Unless you want to, you know, go in a straight line for 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What do you need it for? You are right. How long did it take you? Uh, yeah, the engine conversion was about eight months. Okay, that ain't too bad. All done at home. That ain't bad. So, after my day job, the, uh, was two, when, I, when I dragged it home, it was two years to get it on four wheels, another two years to get color on it, drivable. And then we redid it again about eight years ago, and then it just did the coyote. Nice. So, coyote tired, in a row. I got tired of eight miles a gallon and, and worried about overheating. And everything. Yep. And what was the original engine? Original 318 904. Then I had a 440 for about 15 years, and uh, I just wanted to grab it. Yeah. My buddy here said he was coming to this show. It's like, why not? Get in, turn the key, and come. <laughs> exactly. You can't beat that. You just can't beat that. <laughs> North Carolina in the middle of the night with a tire and, and losing half of a wheel bearing. You're good. <laughs> hey, that is nice, man. That is nice. <laughs> you can't beat it. Can't beat it, y'all. That is nice. <laughs> it's, got, it's got me wondering if they made convertibles in the Superbird or the they didn't. Nope. They didn't. Okay. They're not enough they of them. They just started with a donor car that wasn't right. Yep. That's what I figured. I was like, yeah, I was wondering. With, with, I